Hello everyone. So very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome back to another session of our YouTube live session that is discussion of novelists of modern age. So guys, I welcome all of you to join this live session in order to get more 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 contents about our YouTube live session. Okay. So yes, just a moment. So yes guys, so I'll, I welcome all of you to join this session so that we can discuss with lots of things about the novelist of modern age. So this is a wonderful session, I assure you. This will be a wonderful session for you guys for your modern age. Okay. Hello Mariam, very good afternoon Mariam, very good afternoon. Welcome back to another session Mariam. So Mariam, today is the 1st December guys. December month is here. Your exam month is here, right? On 6th December you will be delivering, you will be giving your examination, your EGC net examination, entire 6 months hard work. Right? Enter six months of hard work you are going to pay by your by giving your examination. So yes, I know you are in a confused manner, right? Either in a thrilled manner that oh I have completed all these syllabuses syllabus. Sorry, not a syllabus a syllabi. So we have only one syllabus. So yes, I have completed all the syllabus and either that is one session and another session is oh my god, I don't, I didn't complete anything, anything in the syllabus. So how can I qualify UGC net, right? So here are so many confused states I can see in this live session. So don't worry about that. I will be here. So come join in this live session and make the session interactive and we will discuss everything exclusively for your UGC net examination all right so yes so before going to our sessions I would like to say you one beautiful thing towards you guys see the slide see Judo or Jitho see guys if you attend our live sessions continuously for two weeks that is our YouTube live sessions continuously for two weeks. Those who are attending this YouTube live sessions continuously for two weeks. And if you are a consistent viewer of this live session, then guys, you will get our gate aptitude, general aptitude book. IFAS published book, gate aptitude, gate general aptitude book, textbook free completely totally free you will get so in order to get this book has free just two weeks just two weeks you have to attend this class continuously don't bunk this class okay don't bunk this classes so that you will get this book as free even as even a single penny you don't want to pay for this yeah so I will wait some more moments in order to join my every dear students in the session. Okay, Maria, just wait two minutes. So I know time is precious, your time is also precious, but just wait for two minutes also so that, yeah, students will join. Yeah, thank you so much, Mariam.
yeah let's start i think yes let's start see coming to the modern novelists so yesterday we saw the poets of modern age right yesterday we saw the poets of modern age so now we are going to see the novelist of modern age so before going to the novelist of modern age let me introduce some features very unique features of modern novels okay modern novels so first one is disillusionment and alienation <coughs> sorry first one is what first one is disillusionment and alienation this is the very first very unique feature of a novel of a modern novel what do you mean by this what do you mean by this disillusionment and alienation many modernist novels reflect a sense of disillusionment right many modernist novels see sense of disillusionment and alienation especially in the behaviors of characters especially in the setting of that novels right particularly in the aftermath of world war first see world war first war is always disillusionment and alienation okay disillusionment and alienation is the, these two are the co products of war see this modern is started with the background of with the backdrop of world war first world war first and see we can see it continued till the backdrops of world war second so particularly that's why uh, particularly in the aftermath of world war first we can see through the novels that's why we can see the modern novels are novels depicts disillusionment and alienation writers explored the fractured that is fractured state of society okay writers explored what writers explored the fractured fractured state of society the loss of at traditional values what is that the loss of traditional values and the impact of technology on human relationships okay impact of technology on human relationships so next feature is experimentation with the language okay next feature is what experimentation with the with language see modernist authors experimented with language why modernist authors experimented with language pushing the boundaries of traditional grammar and syntax okay by what pushing the border boundaries of traditional grammar and syntax this experimentation could involve the use of conventional vocabulary innovative sentence structures and a departure from established literary forms or literary norms also okay so this experimentation could involve the use of unconventional vocabulary innovative sentence structures and a departure from established literary norms also so that is experimentation of language and language okay so boundaries they pushing the boundaries of traditional grammar and syntax and explaining and exploring the feelings thoughts emotions of author through imagism through didascism that, that is through didascism through surrealism such kind of things didascism okay didascism then subjectivity was a core content of this modern novels that's why they push the boundaries of grammar and syntax they want out to uh, they want out to reflect their inner feelings inner conflicts emotions everything through their novels so border, modernist novels often prioritize the subjective experiences of characters over objective reality okay over what over objective reality the focus on individual perspectives allows for a more nuanced exploration okay what is that the focus on individual perspectives allows for a more nuanced exploration of characters thoughts and emotions okay of word of characters thoughts and emotions then we have intertextuality okay then we have word then we have intertextuality 
see modernist authors frequently engaged in intertextuality frequently engaged in what engaged in intertextuality referencing and in reinterpreting other literary works also okay referencing what referencing and reinterpreting other literary works also so this can create layers of meaning within a text okay so this can this created the layers of meaning and very 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 inner and connotative denotative meanings within a text also requiring readers to be familiar with a broader literary and cultural context okay what does that see yeah requiring readers to be familiar with a broader literary and cultural context so that happened in this novels modern novels intertextuality multiple layers of meaning within a single text okay next next is very 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 important thing that is surrealism okay what is that surrealism see surrealism happened okay surrealism happened or they introduced surrealism to modern novels that is the main thing they introduced surrealism to where surrealism to modern novels so what do you mean by this surrealism this kind of movement we can see surrealism first it happened in paintings okay surrealism so surrealism is a 20th century artistic and literary movement that emerged primarily in europe that emerged by that emerged primarily in europe in the early 1920s it sought to release the creative potential of the unconscious mind by tapping into the irrational and imaginative aspects of human thought okay so it sought to release the creative that is creative potential of the unconscious mind by tapping into the irrational and imagin imaginative aspects of human thought surrealist works often feature dream like and fantastical elements okay so surrealist works often feature dream like and fantastical elements combining reality with elements of surprise combining what combining reality with elements of surprise unexpected juxtapositions where is that unexpected juxtapositions and symbolism and where and symbolism so we can see unexpected juxtapositions two dissimilar thing things compared into one thing that is metaphysical poetry that is a feature of metaphysical poetry just like that two dissimilar things juxtaposed in a painting two dissimilar things juxtaposed in the artwork so that is surrealism combining reality with elements of surprise see how it is possible to combine these two things so surrealists they combined these these two things into these two things into one that is unexpected juxtapositions and symbolism will be there so each painting each color each demonstration that symbolizes it another idea so we have the proponent of surrealism we have the proponent of surrealism here who is andre breton who is andre breton who is a french writer and poet who is a french writer and poet is often credited with founding the surrealist movement okay so andre breton a french writer and poet is often credited with founding the surrealist movement so don't forget his name andre breton the founder of surrealism okay next see coming more about the surrealism the surrealists were influenced by psychoanalysis okay see basically this is something which is related to our human mind that's why it the, the surrealists were influenced by psychoanalysis particularly the ideas of sigmund freud particularly whom particularly the ideas of sigmund freud and they aim to explore the deeper real, realms of the human psyche okay and they aim to explore what explore the deeper realms of the human psyche through their art and writings through where through their art and writings 
see surrealism manifested in various art forms okay surrealism manifested what surrealism manifested in various art forms including painting including where including painting good afternoon sunitha very good afternoon welcome back to another session so sunitha we are discussing about the novels of uh, novels features of novels in uh, in the modern age okay so we just started this is the third style uh, third slide i think so we have discussed uh, some features some unique features of novels in the modern age and we came to we reached surrealism and uh, okay so surrealism so surrealists were influenced by psychoanalysis particularly the ideas of sigmund freud and they aim to explore what and they aim to explore the deeper realms of the human psyche through their art and writing stressy right hello stressy good afternoon stressy you are watching my live session for the first time actually i am noting noticing you for the first time that's why Hello Stacy welcome Yes so yes guys those who are watching this live session for the first time i request all of you to join i request all of you to subscribe this channel then only you will get all the notifications on time so in order to get all the notifications on time about about our lectures and live sessions please subscribe this channel and just go just go through just go through our playlist then you will get everything see i have completed british literature almost right up to victorian age i have completed now we are uh, now we are uh, discussing about modern age so uh, before modern age uh, yes literary theory is completed so everything for your examination i have completed on time so just go through the lectures uh, before your examination okay yes stacy you have already watched my classes okay fine but i ask that uh, are you joining this live session for the first time because for the live sessions i am first time i am seeing you that's why stacy so sorry if i am telling any wrong so stacy yeah welcome back very happy to see you once again if you watched my sessions and if you like to join the sessions on time then that will be very grateful to me so please don't bung all the sessions sunita stacy mariam so mariam is a consistent viewer i know maybe mariam will get that free book okay so there is a surprise behind you guys so you will get free book of gate general aptitude by ifas if you watch this video if you if you attend this live sessions on time consistently for 2 weeks so after 2 weeks it's your decision you have to see you have to watch this video for your sake i am taking all the sessions okay so don't bang yes to see i ex i accept yeah i expect your presence every day okay stressy all right yes coming to surrealism so surrealists were influenced by psychoanalysis particularly the ideas of sigmund freud and they aim to explore the deeper realms of the human psyche through their art and writings surrealism manifested in various art forms okay surrealism manifested in where in manifested in various art forms including painting sculpture literature film and even political theory also okay including what including paint sculpture literature film even political theory also so salvador dali okay salvador dali rene magritte nene rene magritte max ernest who is what max ernest and john miro are among the notable artists associated with this surrealist movement okay among what among the notable artists associated with this surrealist movement all right yeah so after surrealism we are moving towards the novelist of modern age so guys modern age post modern age this two ages has these two ages have very 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 much weightage for your examination in your examination right so in your examination in your question paper you will get almost i think 10 to 15 questions from modern age 
both modernize and post modernize you will get 10 to 15 questions so be aware of about the things okay be aware about the things so joseph contract born joseph theodore contract Corzens whiskey on december 3rd on december 3rd 1857 in badish in badish ukraine so who was a polish british writer <coughs> okay so joseph conrad was a polish british writer widely regarded as one of the greatest novelists of the english language okay so he is widely regarded as one of the greatest novelists of english language see his works often explored themes of human nature imperialism and clash of cultures okay themes of human nature imperialism and the clash of cultures so conrad's first novel almayer's folly very important thing see here we can see conrad's first novel which is almayer's folly okay almayer's folly was published in 1895 it was published in which year 1895 marking the beginning of her beginning of his literary career as a novelist so over the next few decades he produced what he produced a series of acclaimed works including lord jim so lord jim was a series of acclaimed work lord jim in 1900 heart of darkness okay so heart of darkness in 1899 all right heart of darkness in 1899 nostromo nostromo in 1904 okay nostromo in where nostromo in 1904 and the secret agent next is what secret agent which is in the year 1907 okay the secret agent which is in the year 1907 then heart of darkness in particular is considered a literary masterpiece and has been widely studied for its exploration of the darkness within the human soul and the impact of european imperialism in africa impact of european imperialism in africa so heart of darkness can be read in the perspective of post-colonial literature post-colonial theory heart of darkness by joseph conrad because see in heart of darkness it is a study of the impact of european imperialism in africa where in africa that is heart of darkness okay see darkness is related to dark continent is africa is known as dark continent so heart of darkness means uh, heart of darkness inside this novel we can see the impact of european imperialism in africa it is a critical study this novel is a critical study okay see moving towards some uh, sort of details in detail about joseph conrad's these four very important works which is heart of darkness lord jim nostromo and secret agent see heart of darkness which is written in the year 1899 heart of darkness this novella is this is a novella novella means what between a story short story and a novel we have novella so this novella is considered a masterpiece and explores the dark side of imperialism it explores the dark side of imperialism in africa okay africa so it delves into the psychological and moral struggles of the protagonist it delves into what it delves into the psychological and moral struggles of the protagonist marlo as he journeys into the congo so marlo is the right answer marlo is the right answer for, for sorry <laughs> sorry marlo is the not right answer marlo is a central character in this in this novel novella all right see next minute
just a moment yeah okay so load gym next next work is what next work is load gym in the year of 1900 see this novel tells the story of a young british seaman jim okay so jim is a titular character jim is a seaman so whose life takes a tragic turn when he abandons a sinking ship and must grapple with the consequences of his actions okay so whose life takes a tragic turn when he abandons a sinking ship and must grapple with the consequences of his actions see next is nostromo next is what next is nostromo which is in the year 1904 So Nostromo is set in a fictional South American country. So Nostromo is set in where Nostromo is set in fictional South American country. Nostromo explores political and social upheaval. Right? Nostromo explores political and social upheaval. The novel is known for its intricate narrative structure. Okay. The novel is known for its what? The novel is known for its intricate narrative structure and deep psychological insights. Okay, and what? And deep psychological insights. That is no trauma. Next, we have the secret agent. Secret agent. The secret agent is in the year nineteen o seven. The secret agent. This novel is darkly comedy. That is darkly comic exploration. Dark common, dark comedy, which is also so this proponent of this dark comedy also Andre Breton, Andre Breton. Okay. So the novel is a dark comedy. Dark comedy means if we say if we take death as a comic comic sense. See, death is not a comedy, but we are generating comedy from death. That is dark comedy. See, just we say go to the hell. See, hell is not a nice thing. Okay, so hell is a dark. Uh, hell is a negative thing, right? So go to heaven. We don't say go to hell. That is a verbal irony. But it doesn't matter. We are going to hell. But the thing is, we are making some kind of comic sense with a dark sense, with a dark thing. So that is dark comedy. So this novel is a dar darkly comic exploration. The secret agent. Okay, secret agent exploration of anarchism and terrorism in London. So one time, ta one time, London suffered from anarchism and terrorism. So this is a dark comedy. Dark comedy of the exploration of anarchism and terrorism in London. So it follows the story of Mr. Verloc. So character of character in this novel is Mr. Verloc. Okay, character in this novel is who? Mr. Verloc, a secret agent involved in a plot plot gone awry. Okay, Mr. Verloc. All right. Yeah. So these are the main novels of Joseph Conrad. So guys, moving towards another very, very, very interesting announcement that I am going to see. See, if you are a consistent viewer of our YouTube live session for two weeks, then you will get, then you will get our general aptitude book on free. And see, if you are worried about your gate preparation, especially for general aptitude, that same book, if you don't. If you don't have the uh, what convenient time to participate in this live session and you are watching the recorded sessions of our session, recorded sessions of our live session, then don't worry about that. See, if you use the promo code IFAS70 in our portal, then you will get 70 percentage off in this book. Recorded course along with recorded courses of general aptitude. Okay, along that is not this book, but recorded course, recorded course of general aptitude of our GATE 2024. Just go and enroll in our website or our app. Just download our app from the website www.ifasonline.com. Or just visit our website www.ifasonline.com. Just put your phone number and uh, generate OTP. That is the 
uh, that is a way of uh, enrolling into this platform and after that just use this promo code IFAS70 in order to get 70 percentage off in our recorded courses of general aptitude of gate 2024 so you will get all the recorded courses of general aptitude of gate 2024 with 2500 rupees this is a bumper this is a bumper for you guys bumper opportunity for you guys okay don't lose this opportunity don't uh, waste this opportunity that i want to see yeah okay so moving towards another novelist of modern age hg wells who hg wells whose full name is Herbert George Wells okay whose full name is Herbert George Wells was an English writer okay was what was an English writer born on September 21st okay born on September 21st 1866 and he passed away on August 13 he, he passed away on August 13 in 1946 look at him how gentle how gentle he is so he is best known for his contributions to the science fiction so HG Wells is best known, best known for his contribution to the science fiction and he is often known as the father of yes father of science fiction okay he is often known as the referred as one of the one of the fathers of science fiction or father of science science fiction okay see so there are science fiction scientific science fiction and novels novelists but he is known as one of the fathers of science fiction hg wells especially his time machine time machine that novel made him one of the fathers of scientific fiction science fiction scientific fiction in english literature see coming about hg wells very famous novels we have the time machine so what is this see time machine was published in the year 1895 okay time machine was published in which year in the year 1895 so this novella explores the concept of time travel and its consequences okay time travel just like christopher nolan's interstellar so this novella explores the concept of time travel and its consequences that is time machine anybody watched anybody saw anybody watched christopher nolan christopher nolan's interstellar that movie if you don't get time to read this time machine just go and watch Christopher Nolan's Interstellar then you will get all the idea time travel and its consequences okay then yes Tessie Sunida Mariam are you getting my point yes Tessie are you getting my point No, you are not getting my point, Sunita. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. So, time machine. So, okay, fine, 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 Marim. Okay, so stress is there or not? Stacy, okay, fine. So next work is the War of the Walls. Okay, next work is what? See, next work is the War of the Walls, which is in the year eighteen ninety eight. Okay, which is in the year eighteen ninety eight. A groundbreaking science fiction novel. So the War of the Walls is a groundbreaking science fiction novel that tells the story of a martian invasion of earth okay that tells what that tells the story of a martian invasion of earth next one is the invisible man 
Next one is what? Next one is the invisible man which is in the year 1897. See the invisible man, this novel follows the story of a scientist. Follows the story of what? The story of a scientist who discovers a way to become invisible but struggles with the consequences okay but what but struggles with the consequences all right next is the island of dr morio next is what next novel is the island of dr morio which is published in the year 1896 an exploration of ethics and morality okay it is what it is an exploration of ethics and morality the novel tells a story of a shipwreck the novel tells what tells a story of a shipwreck survivor who encounters a mad scientist on a remote island okay he encounters a mad scientist on a remote island then we have the first man in the moon okay next work is what the first man in the moon which is in the year 1901 so which is a novel that describes a journey to the moon and the encounters with the and the encounters with the inhabitants so just chandrayaan before chandrayaan this novel the first man in the moon this novel went to moon and encountered all the things with its inhabitants in the moon okay that is the first man in the moon so the time machine the war of the worlds the invisible man the island of dr morio the first man in the moon these four are the main those five novels are the main novels by hg wells one of the fathers of scientific scientific fiction okay yes and the, you you didn't watch that movie just go and watch that is a beautiful movie for the first time you won't understand anything just go for the second time after completing your net examination okay now it is today's first december after completing your after giving your examination just go and refresh your mind just see the movies okay yeah yes so after hg bells we have arnold bennett okay we have arnold bennett from 1867 to 19, 1931 yeah so Arnold Bennett was an English novelist and journalist he was also a journalist so what about Arnold Bennett he was born in Handley Stoke-on-Trent in Stratfordshire England so he is a English he is an English writer Bennett was Bennett is best known for his novels set in the five towns okay so five towns which is a fictionalized version of the pottery towns see Bennett just like Malgudi the town uh, Malgudi Malgudi days Arnold Bennett also created a fictionalized town that is five towns name is what five towns which is a fictionalized version of the poet pottery towns of the stratfordshire potteries okay which is what which is a fictionalized version of the pottery towns of the stratfordshire potteries where he grew up where he grew up all right so arnold bennett see coming about the great novels of Arnold Bennett, the old wife's tale is very important. The old wife's tale, it, this was your PYQ, this was your previous year question. The old wife's tale. Okay, then Clayhanger. See, coming about the old wife's tale, which is in the year 1908, which is in which year? 1908. This novel follows the lives of two sisters. Okay, this novel follows the lives of two sisters, Constance and Sophia Banis. Baines. Okay, who who were there? Constance. See, this is Constance and Sophia Banis. Okay, Sophia Bainus. 
spanning over five decades okay it is spanning over five decades then we have clay hanger then we have a novel which is clay hanger see clay hanger which is in the year 1910 the first novel in a trilogy okay clay novel is the first novel in a trilogy this work portrays the coming of age of edwin clay hanger in the rapidly changing industrial society of the late 19th century okay, that is about clay hanger next work is anna of the five towns okay anna of the five towns so edwin clay hanger is a main core that is main character in clay hanger next work is anna of the five towns so this novel revolves around the life of a young woman okay this novel revolves around the life of a young woman named anna tellwright who anna tellwright okay anna tellwright who inherits her father's fortune and faces various challenges okay who inherits her father's fortune and faces various challenges and now of the five towns then we have ricey man steps okay ricey man steps see ricey man steps this novel explores the lives of a couple this novel explores what the lives of lives of a couple henry and elsie what is the henry and elsie see they are living okay henry and elsie living in london and their struggles with money and relationship that is rising man steps all right yes so we saw who we saw sorry sorry yes so we saw arnold bennett arnold bennett's arnold bennett's five town is very important then we saw arnold bennett's very important novels the old wife's tale clay hanger and now of the five towns then rising man steps all right sunida mariam strasi akshay deepkesh dibendra all right yeah okay fine 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 very good very good because we are not doing with pyq or any questionnaire question paper discussion so that's why i am not mingling with you right i am just telling the fact it is clear till now okay maria very good so i just all right all right now i'm not engaging with you now i'm just uh, telling i'm just uh, going with the concepts concepts so in between you and me so i don't want to break our links that's why i am asking is it fine so guys if you have any doubts please ask let's engage together okay yeah and heart button is yours guys please click on that heart button then you will see a surprise okay <laughs> fine so just like instagram trolls like press on the heart button then you will get a surprise okay then you can see a surprise just like that press on that heart button then you can see a surprise all right so next author is dorothy richardson so dorothy richardson have you heard about her sirida stasi mariam have you heard about her the about the rati richardson no the rati richardson no but yes it might be there are possibilities right yes okay 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 don't worry mariam let's hear right now okay 
No, okay, Sunita, fine, good. So, what about you? What about Dorothy Richardson? So, what do you know about uh, Dorothy Richardson? What do you know about Dorothy Richardson? Just heard, okay. So, Mariam just heard, okay, Sunita. For Sunita, what do you know, what do you know about Dorothy Richardson? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Just heard. Okay, okay, fine, 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 fine. Just heard. If you just heard, that is fine. Okay. So guys, Dorothy Richardson was a British author and one of the pioneering figures in the literary movement known as Stream of Consciousness. Say Stream of Consciousness guys. Stream of Consciousness is a very 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 important. Very 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 important thing. So yesterday also not able to recall Sunila, don't worry about that. See yesterday also I think we have discussed about stream of consciousness james jo james joyce ulysses uh, then uh, we have discussed about molly bloom right so yes stream of consciousness so she is best known for her semi autobiographical series of novels titled pilgrimage so dorothy richardson semi autobiographical novels titled pilgrimage is here so the pilgrimage novels consisting of 13 books how many books 13 books this pilgrimage see she is Dorothy Richardson okay she is Dorothy Richardson so the pilgrimage novels consisting of 13 books were written in 19 written between 1915 and 1938 okay written between 1950s and 1938 the series follows the life of the protagonist okay the series follows what the series follows the life of the protagonist miriam hunter henderson who is that miriam henderson and is known for its innovative use of the stream of consciousness technique okay and is known for its innovative use of the stream of consciousness technique all right so let's see what are the contributions of the Rothier richardson in modern languages so her contributions are very 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 inevitable inevitable see pointed roofs one novel is here that is pointed roofs the first novel in the series introduces miriam henderson a young teacher as she embarks on a teaching position in a girls school in Germany. The narrative explores her thoughts and emotions as she navigates through cultural differences and personal introspection. Okay, cultural differences and personal introspection. That is pointed roofs. Okay, that is what pointed roofs. Then we have backwater backwater which is continuing mariam's journey second novel in this phase okay backwater so continuing mariam's journey this novel delves into her experiences in a bro in a boarding house in london experiences in where experiences in a boarding house in london next is richardson explores themes of independence and self-discovery richardson explores what richardson explores themes of independence and self-discovery as miriam encounters various characters okay as miriam what we can say as miriam encounters various characters yeah and reflects on her involving identity and what and reflects on her involving identity that is backwater all right then honeycomb next is what honeycomb in this installment in this installment 
Miriam moves to a new environment. Okay, so in this environment, Miriam moves to a new environment, working as a governess for an upper class English family. Working as what? Working as a governess for an upper class English family. The novel delves into Miriam's relationships, her observations of societal norms and her internal struggles. Okay, so we can hear her internal struggles. So this is a continuation of this second series, Honeycomb. Next, next part is the tunnel. Next part is what? The tunnel. So as Miriam pursues, as Miriam pursues a career in writing, this novel explores her experiences in London literary circles. Okay, what is that? London literary circles. So Richardson delves into the challenges faced by a female writer. Richardson delves into what? Delves into the challenges faced by a female writer in the 20th century and Miriam's journey to find her voice in the world of literature. So that is the tunnel. All right. Next one. Next one is interim. So interim originally published as deadlock. Okay, interim originally published as deadlock. So this novel explores Miriam's life during a period of emotional and creative stagnation. During a period of what? Period of emotional and creative stagnation. It reflects on the challenges and conflicts that arise as Miriam grapples with her relationships and artistic pursuits. Okay, Miriam grapples with her relationships and artistic pursuits. Then we have Deadlock. Deadlock, this title. Am I uh, said about Deadlock? No, no, yes. Now it is Deadlock. Deadlock, which is published in the year 1921 right 1921 so the title was later changed to interim okay this deadlock is later changed to interim so yeah here we have interim which is in 1919 deadlock is in 1921 it is changed in 1921 then we have revolving lights okay then we have revolving lights which is in the year 1923 See the 17th novel in the series continues. See Revolving Lights is the 17th novel in the series which continues to follow Miriam's journey exploring her relationships and experiences. So the title suggests the cyclical nature of life and the ongoing evolution of Miriam's character. Okay, the title suggests what suggests the cyclical nature of life. Okay, suggests what suggests the cyclical nature of life and the ongoing evolution of Miriam's character. All right. Next we have the trap. Next we have what. The Trap, which is in the year 1925, The Trap. In this penultimate novel, Miriam faces various challenges in her personal and professional life. Okay, so The Trap in her penultimate novel, Miriam faces various challenges in her personal and professional life. We can see various challenges in her personal and professional life. The narrative continues to delve into the into her thoughts and emotions, offering a deep introspection into the protagonist's psyche. Offering what? Offering a deep introspection into the protagonist's psyche. Then we have Oberland. Okay, Oberland which is in the year 1927. Oberland which is in the year 1927. So the final novel in the series Oberland concludes Miriam's pilgrimage. What is it? Oberland concludes Miriam's pilgrimage. So that's why this series is known as pilgrimage. It explores her later years. Okay. It explores what? It explores her later years and reflects on the cumulative on what on reflects on the cumulative impact of her experiences relationships and personal growth okay so with this this novel concludes all right 
so moving towards the next see guys let me remind you one once again we are going to conduct a quiz manual which is exclusively for gate 2024 whether you are an aspirant of gate whether you are an aspirant of net or uh, set or cuet pg or any competitive examination related to english english literature must do this quiz mania must participate in this quiz mania so that you can enhance your knowledge enhance your preparation with this quiz mania so don't miss out this opportunity you can can evaluate yourself how much i have acquired how much how long i have to how far i have to go okay miles to go before i sleep okay so don't miss out this session on 2nd december 2023 that is tomorrow saturday from 8 am to 8 pm you can attend this quiz mania session so do attend this session and make the victory with i f years okay so moving towards the next we have gk chesterton here okay we have gk chester yeah chesterton here or gilbert k chesterton who was an english writer philosopher critic and journalist so he is best known for his works he is best known for his works in the fields of fiction essays and christian apologetics chesterton Yes, Chesterton was a prolific author and wrote and wrote on a wide range of topics. Okay, he wrote on a wide range of topics, including mystery novels, poetry, plays, and literary criticism. See here we have the Father Brown series by G K Chesterton. So just Chesterton, Chesterton created the character Brown. Chesterton created the character Father Brown, a Catholic priest and amateur detective, in a series of mystery stories. So, the Innocence of Father Brown is one of the collections featuring this character. Okay, Innocence of Father Brown. Then we have Orthodoxy. Orthodoxy. This is a classic work by Christian apologists in which Chesterton presents his own spiritual journey and defends the fundamental. tells of christian belief then we have the man who was thursday okay then we have the man who was thursday then we have essays okay essays is at another work by gk chesterton See, moving towards William Somerset Maugham. See, William Somerset Maugham was a British playwright, and his very, very important play novelist. Sorry, novelist of human bondage. Okay, of human bondage, and play is the letter. Okay, very important is of human bondage. Play is the letter. So Morecambe's writing is often characterized by its exploration of human nature, the complexities of relationship, and the impact of social conventions. So moving towards the works of Morgan, Morgan, see of human bondage, the moon and sixpence. Okay, the moon and sixpence, the razor's edge. Next is what the razor's edge. Then we have cakes and ale. Okay, cakes and ale. Then we have theater. Okay. So guys, with this, I am just concluding the session. The time is over for me. Don't worry about that. We have Virginia Woolf and we have yet another D H Lawrence, and we will discuss tomorrow along with T S Eliot about this two novelists. Okay, so don't worry about that. Don't forget about the game. So if you continuously attend this session, you will get after two weeks, you will get. free test of general aptitude of our gate 2024 examination so don't miss out all the things i have shared with you if you are watching this live session for the first time don't forget to subscribe this session and share the share this live session to your friends and co aspirants so i am just winding up this session bye see you happy learning